The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. Here with Tennessee basketball coach Rick Barnes. Coach, first and foremost, thank you for being here today and speaking at the Carson Coaching uh, Clinic. Um, you're about to take the stage here in a, a few moments. What's your message going to be, and what do you hope that the coaches and the families leave here today after listening to you? Well, first of all, I really appreciate Coach Parks giving me the opportunity to come and be a part of this. And uh, you know, he asked me to speak on relationships, and uh, to me, that takes in a really wide range of um, areas that you can go. And obviously, I want to speak about relationships with our family, our friends, and but also our relationship with Jesus Christ. Um, obviously, you're a basketball coach. Coach Sparks is a football coach, but he invited you to this football clinic. Uh, but coaching goes beyond the, the field or the court. What does he mean to you? I know that you guys come close in your time in Knoxville. Uh, what, does it mean, what can you learn from a football coach and Coach Sparks? Well, one, I've heard the name Ken Sparks for a long time, and I've heard nothing but just great things about him. Everyone knows he's a great football coach, but it's what he does, the way he affects uh, people's lives, the way he has changed people's lives. And, uh, so I knew at some point in time I wanted to have a chance to sit down with him and just really talk to him and learn from him. And, and uh, I'm fortunate that Kevin Felker, a guy that uh, you know, runs the Tennessee Bobcat uh, AU program, knows him with the uh, Carson Newman, and he set it up. And I went over, and, uh, and I'll never forget the first time I walked in, uh, he was there at his desk and had a big smile on his face and jumped up, gave me a big hug, and we went back and spent uh, quite a bit of time in the conference room. And, and I asked him some questions. You know, how do you motivate kids today? How do you teach kids today? And uh, he went through a lot of different things with me. And uh, we actually uh, spent some time in prayer together. And uh, since that time, he's a person that I truly uh, admire for uh, take away the football, take away all that. I just admire him as a really a Christian brother. 